Hi, I'm George, and Linux HD Video Converter Deluxe sponsored this video so that I can show you how useful this video conversion app can be for your video editing projects. Now stick around through to the end of this video, and I'll show you where you can download for free. This is an advanced video conversion app from Digiarty. This video conversion app has received top reviews from CNUT, top 10 reviews, TechRadar, TechAdvisor, and more, and has been around for years. It's well established. Now if you work with online videos or do a lot of video editing like I do, you'll come across the MKV or Matroska video file format. Now this is a format used for holding multiple video and audio tracks plus subtitles and more in one video file. It's commonly found in online downloads, Blu-ray and DVD rips, things like that. But many video editors will not work with MKV files including Adobe products like Premiere Pro and Premiere Elements. So the file will need to be converted to a format like MP4, which can be used with those video editors. Plus MKV files can't be played on portable devices like iPhones and iPads. This is where WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe comes in because it can convert MKV to MP4 quickly with no loss of quality. Just bring up a file here. I'm just gonna grab a 4K sample right there. There we go. Not only can you convert MKV to MP4, but you also can convert to a lot of other file formats. There's a whole list here of general profiles. As you can see, a lot of other profiles, left-hand side, Apple device, Android pad, Android mobile, Microsoft device, Sony device, Apple device we have here, iPhone, iPad, just about anything you can think of. There are actually 420 different video profiles that you can convert to, including HDTV, Xbox, and PS5 formats. Now to do this quickly, WinXD uses both the CPU and the GPU to increase conversion speed up to 47 times faster than real time. You also can import videos from any source. Let's just close this down for a second. Any source right over here. Okay, let's take an overview look here at the interface, the user interface. The first thing you want to check is at the very bottom right down here, and that's the destination folder. This is where WinX is going to be saving out the file when it's finished doing its conversion process. By default, it goes into your standard videos folder and into the WinX videos folder right there. But if you want to change that, all you have to do is just click on browse. You can then change this to any location you want on your computer or network. Now around the rest of our window up here, we have our basic buttons across the top here. All we care about at this point is the first one here. This is video. This is the video import button. And here's where you'll choose which video you want to import in. And you can import in multiple videos as well and do batch video conversions. This is the same button right here. Same thing. On the right hand side, you have a video preview window. You can preview right in here, see how it goes. Or if you double click on the video, as we saw at the beginning here, you can preview in a larger window. Down below here, you can set up your hardware acceleration. I have mine working with Intel, Nvidia, and AMD. It's going to be taking a look at what you have on your computer and then set the appropriate settings in here. You also can use a high quality engine to keep the quality as high as possible. I recommend as always keeping that one checked. If your video has interlacing, which is video that's been produced for projection on TV, you can clean that up with the de-interlacing option right down there. If you have multiple video clips you want to merge into one longer clip, you can do that right here with the merge. And if you want the fastest conversion possible, then you just want to keep the existing video codec you can do that right here by clicking auto copy. It's going to then take the one format, convert to the other format, use the same video codec from the source video. It's just a lot faster. That way it doesn't have to decode and then re-encode the video. When you're all set to go, you just hit the run button down here. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this works with a sample file. Go up here to video. I have mine already in a folder here. I have some samples and I'll grab that one right down here. Again, this is a 4K video and it's the MKV video file format right here. Choose open. And it then brings that into WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. We'll come down here to General Profiles. You can choose what you want to convert out to. I'm going to go to 4K MP4 video right up here. There we go. Right hand side, notice that we can go for a low quality to high quality. Fast is low quality. Right hand side is slower. I'm going to leave mine at the default middle setting. But one of the ways that this can help you out is that it will do a very high quality conversion even at one of these lower settings. Okay, we've chosen our output profile. Choose OK. It then brings in that bit of video. Now, I mentioned that the MKV video format is kind of a container format that has a lot of stuff in there. And up here we have options for the video clip. If we have different sound options, we can choose that right up in here. 
If we have subtitles, we can choose our subtitle setups in here. But we can also add in additional subtitles if you have an SRT file. Down below, you can click on Info and look at the info for this particular video clip. If you want to, you can do some basic editing as well before you do your conversion. And that's the edit button right there. Here's our player. And here we can add subtitles, crop and expand, trim, do some real basic editing on that. It's just she's done there. And you can even rename your file for your final output. Right hand side over here, there is the output file name. That's again, this is just the sample name up here. Click on this. This brings up the output profile. Again, if I wanted to change the output profile, easy to do right here. And this button brings up more in-depth information about your particular format. You can again, check your profile right there. And down here, you can change your video codec if you want to. Now again, we'll check down below, make sure we have our destination folder correct, and that's fine. We have our hardware acceleration set up already. This is not interlist, so I'll just uncheck that one. I'm not merging, so I'll leave that alone. If I had several video clips in here, I could merge those together by clicking on that merge. I'll use auto copy, so it's gonna be saving the original video codec. Then all you have to do is just hit the run button and it's going to do that conversion process. And you see how fast that was. I barely had a chance even to talk about that. And there is that conversion right there over to the MP4 file format. In the description, there is a link for a help and support page for converting MKV video files over to the MP4 video file format. And at the beginning, I mentioned that I would tell you where you can get this for free and go to that same page. There's a button there for the free version of WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. Okay, have fun with this, and I'll see you next time.